what we got here is a TAC CD-P650. Now, what this is, is I'm going to go ahead and do a review on this. Um, there's a lot of people out there that have home stereos, and they are converting all their music and putting it on a USB stick. Now, what a USB stick is, is basically it's a memory stick that holds tons and tons of music, let's say, because that's what I'm going to use it for. And the reason I'm swapping out for this is because of XM Radio. Now, I had XM Radio for 17 years. I started out at $2 a month, and it got up in 17 years, got up to like 20 bucks a month, $23 a month. So I finally said, man, I can't afford this no more. I'm going to have to figure something else out. So what I did is I researched, and I did my research and found this item right here. But before I found this item, I found another item to make sure it would all be compatible with my stereo. Let's go look at that and let me show you what I got. So if you look at the top of the stereo right there, you're going to see this little unit right here. I paid 20 bucks for this. Um, and what this is, this is actually a DVD player with a USB port. And you can see the USB port right there. Now, this works really, really good. And everything works fine on it. And I'm going to show you back here. You can see how it hooks up. It's got the stereo wires that hooks into the CD stereo uh, plug outlet. And then when you turn the radio on, I'm going to go ahead and get that up. Let it warm up. Now you can hear the radio playing in the background. For $20, this thing actually worked really well. Now you can also play CDs in this. It reads MP3 files, uh, WMV files, the whole nine yards, WMA, I'm sorry. But the deal with this is, is I can't set this on random play. If you want to play something and you want to hear different stuff, it's pretty much impossible. Now you can repeat with it, but it doesn't have a random play option. And it's really not even made for your stereo. This is more made for your television and when you use the remote control everything that works or you want to work you have to have a monitor or a television screen to actually set everything now this does have repeat on it but it doesn't have anything uh, here that says random play so I did my research and that's when we came up with the TAC unit so we will be taking this back and getting a refund, which was $22, I think, over at Fry's Electronics. And if you're trying to get out the cheap way and you don't care about random play, this is actually a pretty good item. Now this unit right here that we're looking at, it's a lot more than 20 bucks. This unit right here on eBay cost me $136. That was free shipping. Um, I could have got it on Amazon. Uh, I think Amazon was $140 or something, so I saved four bucks. I went ahead and got it on eBay because it was free shipping. Amazon wasn't free, so I went ahead and did that instead. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Uh, we're going to go through the opening of it real quick. Then we're going to hook it up. We're going to see what, it, what, what happens with it, what's working with it, and how it works. As we open the box up, um, we're going to see that the first thing we see is our packet here, which includes our remote control. And this actually comes with two batteries. Um, I believe they're AAA. And it comes with the connection cord to hook it all up. So there's our remote right there. Very easy, very simple to read. And um, let me see, here it is right here. If you look right there, you can see where it says shuffle. Now, one more thing about this unit right here. You cannot hook this up to your television. This is a stereo component only. And you can tell that just by this right here. It only has the audio cable no video cable so in our packet of paperwork we have the warranty paper um, we have some highlight paper here quick hookup situation going on and it basically goes through and shows you how to play it real quick if you don't want to uh, read the manual which is right here and I'm sure this manual is in two or three different languages yes it is and that should cover everything that you need to know about this unit all right, let's get this out of the box. Uh, it feels like it weighs about maybe a pound and a half. It's very light. 
and very compact. I'm going to flip the box over. We're going to unbox it just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and unwrap it and see what it looks like. Of course, it has built-in power cord. It's not a separate power cord. And then what we'll do is we'll plug that into the back of our stereo to uh, give this power to work instead of to an outlet. So as we get it out of the box, this is basically what it looks like. As you can see, it's got a power button right here, stand up, standby power. Um, it's got CD, USB. Here's our USB port right here. And then, of course, this is our CD player. This is all our functions that will make it play, stop, forward, fast, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's got a level for your headphone jack. That's pretty nice to have if you're going to sit around and listen to headphones. And one more thing I just found out, which I didn't know, it also has, if you look right here, a record button. So you can actually record with this thing. I didn't even know that. So now that we have unboxed it, let's get into the stereo room, hook it up, and see what's going on. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and disconnect this unit completely, uh, very quick and easily. We're going to go ahead and pl unplug it from our stereo. We'll unplug the audio component controls, and then we will take this off and put it away. Alright, we're going to go ahead and set our brand new TAC unit on top of our stereo. I got the remote right here. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. We've got, uh, and it's all color coded, it should be very simple to figure out. So we're going to go ahead and hook up the unit just like this. We're going to get our power cable. And we're going to go ahead and leave that bundled up like that. And we're going to go ahead and plug it in. Like that. We'll set that up there. Turn our unit around just like that. It is now on standby. Uh, I just turned it off. Now, hold on, it just came on. And the unit is now telling us that there is no CD. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn our power on our stereo and then we're going to take our USB connector and we're going to plug it in and it should pick up that there's a USB there. Hopefully. Okay, it's not picking it up so I'm going to go ahead and push this button that says USB CD and now it's reading you can see where it's reading and it is now playing. And we need to get this on CD. I accidentally hit the radio button. There it is right there. You can also see how high tech this unit is, is that it actually tells you the name of the track you're listening to, uh, what series you're listening to. This is Frontier Gentleman. And it tells when it was recorded and what track number it is and everything episode 41 so that's pretty awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and take my remote and then what we're gonna do with our remote is we're gonna hit shuffle actually let's see if the power button will work for us okay we got the batteries in backwards alright we actually had the batteries in backwards now we got them in the proper way Let's go ahead and see what happens now when I hit shuffle. Okay, as you can see, the USB, it just said random. So that means it'll automatically play. Instead of playing in order, now it's a random shuffle. Whether you're listening to old-time radio like I'm doing, or you're listening to music, it will randomly play. That's the situation with this unit. Very good unit, very high quality. And even the sound and the quality of the uh, sound that it's putting out is very crisp and well worth the money. So I have a CD right here. We're going to go ahead and put a CD in it. And we're going to go ahead and see what it sounds like using the CD. I'm going to go ahead and push this button here. It says no CD. Stop reading. We're going to go ahead and open our CD door. Uh, how do we open the CD door? 
We don't know. Oh, here it is right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open the CD door. And the CD door is an opening. There it is. Okay, sorry about that. Hold on, you motherfucker. So we'll put the CD into the unit. We will close it. Now it opened again. actually got a defect. We got a fucking defect on our TAC. So I'm going to have to box this thing up, uh, send it back, and when I get another unit from them, we'll continue this review. But so far, it ain't worth a shit. It's been a week or so. Um, I sent the other one back. I'm waiting to get my refund on that. I actually ordered that one on eBay. And, uh, I hope I don't have to file a PayPal dispute. And let me go ahead and mention this. If you ever buy anything on eBay or on the internet, you should always have a PayPal account because you got good recourse of getting all your money back when you file a dispute with PayPal. So we'll be getting our money back on that last one, but we did get another one. Let's see what happens with this one. Now this one I didn't get on eBay. I went ahead and got it on Amazon. It was approximately 15 to 18 dollars more, but hopefully it's going to work out. So we open it up once again. We got all our paperwork. We're going to go ahead and zap that open. We already went through all the paperwork, and at this one turns out to be a dud, then we will not be using this unit at all. So we're going to go ahead and open up our remote. I did find out to use all the functions, you have to use your remote. And the main reason I got this is because it's got shuffle on it. Random play, if that makes any sense. 
Um, the reason I say that is because I don't like, when I load down music, and I'm going to show you on a USB stick, I don't like to listen to everything that's in order. I like it to randomly play this way or the other. You see what I'm saying? And uh, I don't have to listen to the same thing over and over or listen to the same artist in a row. When you put your batteries in, make sure that you uh, see which way they go. Because if you do not do that, you might put them in backwards like my friend Pete did. All right. So we got our remote all ready to go. Let's go hook up this unit and see if this unit is going to do the job that we need it to do. Okay, if you look at our unit, we do have it all hooked up. You can see it's on standby. I actually plugged this into the back of my um, unit, my head unit here. Uh, it does have two uh, outlets on the back that we can plug that into. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And it says that it does not have CD. It's reading to see if there's a disc in there. And it says no CD. So before we plug anything else in, what I want to do is I want to test out the CD door to see if it opens and closes. And I see that this one opens by itself very well and it closes and stays closed. So that looks like that's working okay. Uh, let's see if we have our CD. We'll go ahead and put that in. We're going to turn the power on our head unit. We will take a CD and we will go ahead and open the unit. We're going to go ahead and put a CD inside it. We will go ahead and not push it with our finger, but actually push that. And now it is saying that it's reading disc again. Sorry for the uh, ambient noise and it is playing. Okay, we're not playing yet. Okay, we just hit play. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, so the CD player does work on this unit. Uh, we'll go ahead and open, take our CD out, close. We'll put the CD away because the main reason I bought this is not for a CD player but for a USB player. Okay so it says no CD disc. We have took the disc out. What we'll do now is we will go ahead and install our USB stick right there. We're going to go ahead and hit the CD USB. It is now reading the USB and it is now playing. And let's see if, uh... And I see that everything is working good. Okay, so our USB is now working. Let's go ahead and see if we can get it on random play because that's the main reason that I got this is so we can actually have random play on our USB stick. So if we look at our remote right here, there's a little button um, from the rocker pad, the little rocker buttons, the one right directly under it, it says shuffle. We're going to go ahead and hit that. And now it says USB random. So if we hit this here, let's see if it's going to be in order. And no, it's not. If you look real close, it says track 18, track 15, track 22. So this is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. 
I am very happy with this situation. I want to let you know one other thing. This is actually a CD recorder. You can record your CDs from the unit to the USB stick. And it also has many other functions that we have not covered on this. Very good system. I like it. It's worth $140 plus dollars. And hopefully it's going to be a good item that my friend Pete can use in my shop and, and enjoy the situation without paying a monthly fee to listen to XM Radio.